let's learn about derangement this is a very useful concept from combinatorics and it is used in ISI entrance uh, CMI entrance and it's also used in variety of math olympiads so this is a very useful idea uh, we discuss it in our actual classrooms so look at the link in the description to learn more about those courses but let's discuss it today uh, from a very layman's perspective what is derangement what is the meaning of derangement now suppose we have four spots so spot one spot two so these are like blanks okay spot three and spot four and we have four letters a b c and d in these four spots so this is four sorry we want to rearrange rearrange or permute these letters one way to do it is maybe something like this b a c d now this is definitely a rearrangement of the letters a b c d but this is not a derangement this is not a derangement so why is it not a derangement because to to be a derangement none of the things none of the letters should be in their original spot but in this case c remains in spot 3 it was initially in spot 3 and d re remains in spot 4 it is initially in spot 4 so maybe i can write a different example to make this a derangement maybe it is like this b a d c now this is a derangement because none of the letters let me write that none of the letters are in there or maybe is in there in its original spot original spot so the question is for the case of four letters how many such derangements are possible to do this problem now uh, you can pause the video here and give this a try total number of rearrangements are four factorial which is 24 that's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 that's 24 and some of them are derangements so we use a concept called inclusion exclusion principle exclusion principle to understand derangement so I'll give you a particular example first let's work with only three letters so this is spot 1 spot 2 and spot 3 now let's create all possible rearrangements of these three letters there are only six of them so maybe like this a b c a c b b a c b c a and c a b and c b a these are the six rearrangements six rearrangements now the question is how many of these are derangements clearly clearly uh, this one is not a derangement this one is also not a derangement because a is in its original spot this one is a derangement because none of them are in its uh, well this one is not a derangement too because c is in its original spot so this one is gone let's look at the fourth one this one is a derangement so that's fine the next one is c 
AB. So C, A, B. This is also a derangement. That's fine. None of the letters are in their original spot. And C, B, A is also not a derangement. This is also not a derangement. None of these four. So we have two derangements among these six. Two out of four. Six rearrangements are derangements. So the question is, can we find a general formula? That's a goal. Find general formula for derangement. And there are certain beautiful recursive formulas for derangement. So there are some recursions. And there is actually a beautiful asymptotic formula that tells you something very fundamental about derangements in the domain of permutations. So think about it. Try to uh, develop a formula for n letters. So if you have n letters, how many, so maybe a1, a2, up to a n, in spot 1, up to spot n, then how many derangements are possible, are possible. And there is a very interesting uh, asymptotic formula which relates e, the magical number e, with, which is 2.71 approximately, with the number of permutations n factorial, the number of all permutations, these are all permutations, all rearrangements. Some, somehow, this n factorial, this e, and this notion of derangement are all related. So we will discuss this in the Tinta classroom and uh, there are there will be problems in the uh, rela in relation to this concept. Uh, I will also try to post another video on this. Link in the description will take you to more videos and more beautiful mathematics. Stay well and keep on doing great mathematics.